on everybody this is jeff with living in arizona and today we're going to talk about the snowfall that's taking place all across the state in the high country areas not in phoenix it's not snowing here but as you can see it's sunny here in phoenix bright blue skies but we're going to take a look around and see where you can ski for those of you who like to ski and or snowboard or participate in playing in snow activities around the state of Arizona. If you're new to living in Arizona, feel free to subscribe to this channel because we talk about all things Arizona related. Uh, right here, we're going to take a look at Live in Arizona's Instagram and we're going to go through the news feed here. You can see Conquer Arizona has Arizona Snow Bowl. Look at that. That's Arizona right there, guys. That's a lot of snow, right? Even in the high country or high desert areas, you're seeing some borderline snow activity and then you just see some different types of uh, scenery across the state so uh, beautiful visit Sedona right there and um, let's go ahead and talk about where you can actually ski across the state of Arizona so here on trip savvy they've listed the places to go where to ski and snowboard in Arizona you got Arizona snow bowl that's up in Flagstaff for those of you who like uh, the real deal that's the best we've got is snow bowl that's up just up on Humphs, I think it's called Humphreys Peak. Some call it San Francisco Peak. You can see it's two to three hours from Phoenix, depending on where in Phoenix you live. And so this is this is a top destination. You're at eleven thousand five hundred feet up there. Okay, it's not the only one though. So you've got Arizona Nordic Vi Village. That's also up there in Flagstaff. So Nordic Village will appeal to those who enjoy cross-country skiing and snowshoeing. Arizona Nordic Village is located in Coconino National Forest, just seven miles north of Snow Bowl Road on Highway 180. You can purchase day passes. So this is more of the cross-country terrain, not so much the high alpine, you know, slaloms or slopes that you would get in Snow Bowl. So two different areas up in Flagstaff that you can check out. Another one that's really popular is called Sunrise Park Resort. So this one, uh, it, it's, it's, it says right here, although Arizona Snow Bowl may be the best known ski area in Arizona because of its proximity to Flagstaff and Northern Arizona University, that's NAU for those of you who are wondering, Sunrise Park is the largest with runs 65, with 65 runs. It is located in McNary, in the Arizona White Mountains, Sunrise is just over 200 miles from Phoenix. Sunrise Park Resort is owned and operated by the White Mountain Apache Tribe. So there's eight ski lifts. That's a lot. I mean, you know, we say that Snow Bowl's the most popular, but Sunrise is definitely, uh, like it says right here, it's got the most runs, 65 runs and eight ski lifts. That's a lot, right? And actually, if you wanted to see just how it looks right now at sunrise or any given time, you just go to sun, sunriseparkaz.com and check out the webcam. You, or you could just go into Google and type in sunrise webcam or sunrise park. Let's take a look. So you can see that's what it looks like live. So if you're sitting there and you're like, well, I don't want to drive all the way up to sunrise if there's not going to be a lot of snow or if there's not going to be a lot of activity, well, you could see right here, Greer. Right here in Greer, right now, the live cam. I mean, let me make that a big screen if I can. Um, is that even possible? Let's see. Can we make it in the big screen? There we go. So, hope you guys can see that. Go on Sunrise's website, uh, Sunrise Park Resort. You can even follow them on YouTube here if you want to keep up with them. So, that's, uh, that's pretty good to know, right? Then you've got Mount Lemon for those of you who are in Tucson. I mean, it's almost possible to say that Mount Lemon could be closer than Snowball, but it's really not. I mean, the the thing is, how far, if I'm living in Santan Valley, say, or in Queen Creek, which is where I live, down in the Southeast Valley, it might be quicker for me to get to Tucson, but then I got to climb the mountain, right? See, it, same thing when you get to Flagstaff, you still got to climb the mountain. The drive up the mountain takes a long time. And it's hard to say which one's going to take longer, the drive up to the top of Mount Lemon or the drive up to the top of uh, San Francisco Peak, Humphreys Peak. So you might be surprised to know that you can ski in Tucson. Mount Lemon is in the Catalina Mountains. And I've told you guys about Mount Lemon before. I really enjoy Mount Lemon. It's a beautiful mountain in my opinion. And it's, uh, you know, it's, it's high up there. It's no joke. <laughs> and if we go to their website, right, it's, it's nowhere near as set up as Snowball or um, uh, 
sunrise, but it's still pretty decent. You know, you can get some information. <laughs> it's, I, no, it's not even that decent, actually. I'm not going to say it's that decent. Uh, Mount Lemon, fix your website, please. Do us all a favor and get with the times. I mean, you can at least have a webcam on your homepage, if anything, and just put a YouTube video right on there. It's all people really want to know. You can say all this stuff, but this, this website looks like it was built in 1995. Anyway, so um, you've got, uh, yeah, so there you go. And then you've got Elk Ridge in Williams, Arizona. So that's another uh, one. They don't even have a website, but that's 30 miles west of Flagstaff on I-40 from Williams, take 4th Street, 1.5 miles. So we can't even look at a website, but doesn't that look beautiful up there? I mean, you can see it does look beautiful. And if you wanted to know any other areas, also on Trip Savvy, you can get the other places around the nation. I do want to show you guys the Snowball website just to give you an idea of what it, look, it can get looking like up there. So they've got lodging, the mountain, plan your trip. I think this overall is the one you're, you're going to want to go to when it's really coming down. And if we just take a look around the state, just to show you what Arizona Department of Transportation, if you're not already, uh, I'm not logged in, otherwise I would follow Arizona Department of Transportation. Uh, because they've got the information you're going to need about the roads. And if you ever come to Arizona, you're going to realize the roads are the where you're going to spend a lot of time. I mean, but this here is uh west of ganado look at all that snow right there you can see the uh as of three hours ago we had lots of precipitation or snowfall potential right here around sedona kachina village flagstaff williams right there so williams was one of the other places right um if we were talking about greer that that one's over here by the uh white mountains the white mountains are right here in between basically show low and springerville uh, it's not even on the map. It doesn't even say, but uh, that's where that would be. So it's a little bit further, I think, to get to there because the the, the windy road up the uh, Mogollon Rim. So you can see Department of Transportation, Arizona Department of Transportation reporting lots of snow across the state. Heber and Sholo, look how thick it's coming in. That if it's if it's that thick in Heber and Sholo, just imagine what it's going to be looking like up on the mountains, up in the White Mountains, right? So you get the point. Anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, please do like it. Drop a comment below asking me if you, what videos you guys want from me. And we'll see you guys next time.